first question. Third row on your right. Pascal, first off, congratulations. Thank you. Um, thank you, you all have a lot of international players on your team. Um, how did the, how did the diversity of this team and the, and the staff play a part in this championship? Oh, I think it, it, it meant a lot just having guys from from different countries and, and, and speaking different languages. I think it kind of like got us close together. And you kind of have all those little um, kind of friendship with guys that you can speak the same language with and um, from Spanish to French to English, um, different cultures. And I think it kind of represents Toronto in general, um, having that diversity. Third row over here, Lyle. Pascal, le but Radio Mieux, Radio-Canada, est-ce que tu peux me décrire un petit peu tes émotions d'être champion et peut-être un peu aussi tout le, le parcours hein, que, que tu as eu pour te rendre jusqu'à ben, être maintenant pour cette casquette sur la tête? Uh, Je ne sais pas quoi dire, c'est inexplicable. Uh, juste être ici, uh, avoir l'opportunité de, de, de jouer et, 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 et de gagner uh, la NBA Finals, c est, c est, c est j'ai pas les mots en fait euh, pour, pour, pour exprimer ma joie et, et, et c'est juste mon parcours euh, et tout ce que j'ai fait avoir l'opportunité d'être là aujourd'hui de représenter l'Afrique, le Cameroun euh, je pense qu'il n'y a, a rien au-dessus de ça en fait euh, juste, juste avoir ça et, et, et pouvoir gagner pour, pour, tout un, pour, tout, pour toute une, une nation pour, pour, pour tout euh, un continent c'est vraiment je suis top en fait second row over here Pascal, congratulations, Valeria Rubino of Esports, Corriere della Sera. Can you tell us what the feeling is of being a champ? Did you realize what just happened? Um, yeah, hopefully I can, <laughs> I kind of like take it in a little bit, minute by minute. I mean, the, the champagne makes it hard, but um, it's, it's, it's amazing. It's amazing. Um, just excited, happy, kind of like seeing, it's hard to just sit down and think about everything, but uh, but just the hard work and, and everything you put in to, to be able to be here at this level and, and be able to win, um, it's a dream. It's a dream, and 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 it feels amazing to be able to realize their dreams. Davide again on the left side. Pascal, I'm Davide Kinella of Gazzetta Italy. What do you think made this team the best team in the <coughs> league? What what makes you so special, guys? Um, I think you know we we have. As a team, you know, obviously we, we have we have the, the best player in the league and and you know best player in this playoffs in Kawhi Leonard. But um, I think together we we, we kind of like have this unit uh, like a bunch of guys that that will go out there and wasn't you know they weren't you know top picks or, or whatever the case might be, but guys that just go out there and and, and work every single day and and try to be the best that they can be um, and, and unselfish. And it, it didn't matter, you know, in the beginning of the season, Mark starting or Serge starting, and, and you know, we had that change. And, and every single time, kind of like everyone kind of sacrificing everything for the team and, and, and the greater good, I think that, that's what makes us so special. Um, just that we, we are a team, and, and that, that's what makes us dangerous. Again on the aisle over here. Pascal, une autre question en français, Nicolas Landry de RDS à Montréal. Um, quelle est ton appréciation du travail de, de Nick Nurse cette saison? Uh, tout au long de la saison avec vous, à sa première saison comme entraîneur-chef dans la NBA? Oh, je pense que pour, pour, c'était bien, très bien pour lui d'être un, un coach sa première année en NBA. Oh, bien sûr qu'il était, il était dans le G League, mais, mais, mais oh, c'est sa, sa première saison en NBA. Et, et, bien sûr, il avait des choses à apprendre, mais, mais, mais il a continué à travailler dur et il nous a donné l'opportunité d'être à ce niveau aussi. Um, donc c'est une très bonne saison pour lui. Je pense qu'il uh, va continuer à travailler dur pour pouvoir être le meilleur qu'il qu 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 peut être. Uh, mais mais, mais, mais uh, je pense qu'il a, il a fait un très bon boulot. Robert, on the right side. Robert Latal, BSO. Uh, Nick Nurse has uh, always talked about your improvement in your game and just how you expanded it out and everything. Can you talk a little bit about how he's been able to help you as a coach and what he brought to the team um, in his first year here to get you kind of to this point? point? Um, I think, you know, it, it kind of like credit to him, just just um, kind of using the pieces that he had and, um, and, and kind of seeing me being able to do different things on the floor and, and, and kind of explore, exploring that and, and giving me a chance. To, to go out there, not not only me, but but giving the confidence to guys like Fred and and, and Norm and, and everyone, kind of like feeling like it's a, it's a equal opportunity type type of team, and um, obviously knowing who our best player is, but 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 um, just continuing to to trust each other, and and having having that that mindset that at any time anyone can can go off, and and he kind of gave us that that that, that freedom. So um, that's credit to him, and, and he's been able to do a great job with that. Take final two questions over there, and then the third row over here. 
Pascal Balantunas, ESPN Brazil. I just, um, if you could touch like on your journey in the last two weeks, getting to the final, having that wonderful game one where mm -hmm. you were 14 from 17 uh, from the floor, everything that just came with the finals. Um, can you describe that feeling and um, everything that you went through, please? Right. Yeah. Um, for me, uh, it's a lot, a lot of, a lot of ups and downs, man. Um, and I think. That that was that's what make the journey so exciting. Just cause, um, you you know you like you're not at your best. Like you you're not the best that you can be. Um, I think for me, uh, as as a player, a young player, just just going out there every single day, knowing that uh, I'm nowhere near where like how how good I can be, and, and it kind of gives me that opportunity to go out there and learn every single day, make mistakes, and 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 have bad games, but but just continue to to trust my work and everything that I put in to be here at this level, knowing that I deserve to be here at this level and and, and kind of like working every single day um, to be the best player that I can be. Um, it's it's going to have bad games. I'm going to miss shots, a lot of them. <laughs> but uh, at the same time, I just have to have the confidence to go out there and, and, and be myself and play the game that I love. And I think everything will always be okay when I do that. Last question, third row in the center. Uh, Kahari Jones, post-up zone. Uh, just speaking back on your journey, like how do you feel like this will inspire your kids in the basketball without borders program? Oh man, um, I think it means a lot. It means a lot. I think that's one of the reasons why, like, I'm I'm here and, and and I have this flag and you know, kind of like representing Cameroon and, and Africa. Um, I, I think for me as a kid, I didn't have the opportunity to dream about this moment. Like, I I didn't think I, I could make it. I, I didn't think this was possible as a kid. And I think a lot of kids don't like think that it's possible. And and just just me being able to be here today and and telling them that hey, like, look at me, like um. I was a lowest crowny kid from Cameroon, Douala, and, and we just, you know, had, had, couldn't even think about this moment. But here, I'm, here I'm at, you know, as a champion, and um, I just want to tell them that it's possible, and 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 um, that if you believe in something, go out there and work hard for it. Mm, might sound cliche, but it's the truth. I'm, I'm, I'm the proof. Thank you. Thank you. Van Fleet will be next.